Hi everyone, it's MJ and welcome to the Bible Intelligence Metaverse. So we can see over here it says walk into the gallery ahead. And there are some other buildings but um, they're coming soon. They're going to have some, some other interesting things in them. So still got a lot planned for the space. But the very first thing that we've done is we've built a gallery to kind of showcase the book covers that we have and this is a quick look at all of them over here we've got over 50 ebooks available for free on kindle unlimited so let's go into the gallery and check it out so we are now whoops popping up into here it's asking to use my microphone i can then actually talk to other people who are in the space um, I'll put a link in the description below and you can come and check out the metaverse for yourself but what we are in now is the gallery and we're just showcasing all of the beautiful covers of the books and we made them using Midjourney so Midjourney it's an AI tool and with it we created these beautiful beautiful book covers and then we used ChatGPT to actually write the book. So each book has probably around 30 to 50 different prompts crafting it. And we've made a book essentially either on each big character in the Bible or each big story or just on a book of itself. So the Psalmist journey, that's you know some of the Psalms that David wrote, um, from sin to salvation, that's a letter that Paul wrote uh, to the Romans. So that got its own book. Um, this was a bit of a sad book, Lamentation, so the tears of a nation. We've got Numbers Decoded, Journey Through the Wilderness, the Israelites spent 40 years in the desert. This, I think, is one of my favorite. Like, if, you, if you're out there and you're looking for wisdom, you definitely need to read this book. The Treasures of Truth, it's Proverbs Decoded, and the AI does an amazing thing of unpacking all the Proverbs, applying them to modern life. It is just wow beautiful then we got Isaiah he's one of the more popular prophets uh, then we got dynasties in the balance Kings decoded if you if you like Game of Thrones and political dramas you have to check out all the drama that goes down you know amongst the Kings in the Bible it is it's insane um, if magic is more of your kind of thing or you're more into mages and those type of things uh, The Prophet of Fire might be an interesting book for you. This is the story of Elijah uh, Who did some amazing miracles with fire and yeah, really? <laughs> things get quite hot in, in that story or if you want something a little bit more chilled Harvest of Faith It's the story of Ruth. Of course, she's the grandmother of David who would go on to become uh, king of Israel so there's a little bit of everything and then I think these are two familiar favorites Noah and the flood and a dream, a dream arises is the story of Joseph and his multicolored coat and you know the basically the AI is taking out and showing you know Joseph as a character how much integrity he had or the challenges he went through as well as you know what the various dreams meant like it, it really goes quite deep gets a little bit philosophical but also keeps applying it to modern life so it makes it incredibly relevant then we've got Nehemiah rebuilding hope the weeping prophet which is on Jeremiah um, for those of you who enjoy a good romance there's song of songs uh, visions vexations and victory I don't really know how to produce Habakkuk I think that's correct that's so that's one of the minor prophets so each minor prophet also got their own book I think there's one over here uh, Nahum like I say, these are these are ones that you don't really hear too often in Sunday school. Um, although this one here, Hebrews, this is a big famous book. Uh, this is New Testament anchored in in faith. Uh, that's a popular one. Jonah, you know, whales, waves, and wayward prophets. Grace and Brotherhood. Philemon, also a lesson known New Testament book. And then you can see we've got we've got over fifty. Over fifty of these books are available right now on Amazon Kindle. And there's still like another 20 or so that I still need to still need to generate um, the test of faith. Oh, that looks quite quite dark. And of course, that is the famous story where Satan says to God that Job only loves you because he's all blessed and all these type of things. And calamity falls upon Job, but he remains you know strong in the Lord and he gets everything back. But very yeah, 
if you like philosophy <laughs> or the problem of evil, uh, that book, it really, really hits hard. And I was very impressed with what ChatGPT had to write on that topic. Um, then, yeah, in the beginning, the fall, Genesis stories, of course, very popular and a lot to be said on those. So, yeah, I think this kind of gives up a quick little tour of the gallery section of our of our metaverse. Um, like I said, we've got some stuff planned if we go outside. Um, we've got a whole pavilion over there and another big giant building out there and a little social space at the bottom over there. So we're going to maybe be building up a little bit more of a virtual presence and yeah, really using AI, metaverse. Uh, we might even create some NFTs of the book covers, give them out for free and just have fun with the technology. But as always, thank you so much for, for watching. And if you're curious to learn more about this project, uh, the links will be in the description, whether you want to come and play around in this metaverse yourself, or if you actually want to read some of the books that ChatGPT has done. Um, like I say, it's free if you've got Kindle Unlimited. I'll also put links to Medium articles where you can get just a taste of some of the articles um, without having to pay or subscribe to, to anything. So you can just, like I say, get a bit of a sample. But until then, um, keen to also hear your thoughts on this project. So let me know in the comment section below. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Oh, and you can also jump in this thing, which is pretty cool. Jumping around. Cheers, everyone. And yeah, keep well. Bye.